Now let us see mechanism of opening and closing of stomata. Levitt in 1974 proposed the proton transport concept to explain the mechanism of opening and closing of stomata. According to this, the opening and closing of the stomata takes place as a result of an active transport of potassium ions into the guard cells and out of them. The adjacent epidermal cells act as ion storage cells for guard cells. During day, starch is converted into malic acid in the cytoplasm of guard cells. Malic acid dissociates into hydrogen that is H plus ion and mallet ions. H plus ions are given out of guard cells and K plus that is potassium ions from subsidiary cells enter into the guard cells. The intake of K plus ions is balanced by intake of Cl minus that is chloride ions. This raises osmotic potential of the guard cells. Water from the surrounding cells enters the guard cells by endosmosis and the guard cells become turgid. The outer thin walls are stretched and inner thick walls are pulled apart. Thus, stoma opens. At night, Photosynthetic activity ceases. Hence, carbon dioxide concentration in guard cells increases and pH becomes acidic, which is 5.0. In presence of carbon dioxide, an inhibitor hormone abscisic acid, that is ABA, functions and inhibit uptake of potassium ions and chloride ions by changing the diffusion and permeability of guard cells. The potassium ions and chloride ions move out to the subsidiary cells and osmotic concentration of guard cells decreases. Water moves out of guard cells by exosmosis and they become flaccid. Inner walls of guard cells come in contact with each other and the stoma closes.